Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Brendan Clark. Good evening everyone. We are glad you're watching. I'm Carolyn Murray. News 2 is your local election headquarters and tonight two candidates hoping to become the next mayor of the city of Charleston faced off for a debate right here in our News 2 studio. You had incumbent Mayor John Tecklenburg and opponent William Cogswell back on the ballot next week for that runoff election. News 2's Jordan Sayopa watched that debate and joins us live in this studio with a recap. Jordan, what did we see tonight? Carolyn, Brendan, we are days away from the runoff, and tonight we had the opportunity to hear the candidates' stances on a wide range of topics impacting the city of Charleston. Flooding, traffic, affordable housing, and the union peer development, just to name a few. But it didn't stop there. We also got into some accusations of dark money and support from Moms for Liberty. Take a look. Still alive. We yeah, had it's still alive. It's still alive. Where's the money coming from? It's it's Who's an organization. Words matter, John. They really do matter. The Charleston mayoral race heating up days before the runoff election. Incumbent Mayor John Tecklenburg and opponent William Cogswell met for a fiery debate right here on News 2. The candidates spent an hour sharing their views on some of Charleston's biggest hot button issues, starting with stalled development plans at Sumar Street and Union Pier. And it would be certainly lower density, um, uh, more green space, more resiliency, and not as expensive of infrastructure. And yes, the port will lose money on it. The vision that we have together for this property is to open up the waterfront to our citizens, have a beautiful waterfront park. When the topic of flooding came up, Cogswell shared his proposal for an elevated edge smaller than the seawall in the works. Mayor Tecklenburg pointed to the more than 32 flooding projects already underway in the city. Right. He doesn't even have an estimate for his plan. He's not doing his You don't have a design for your plan. I mean, you have no idea what you're talking about. Dark money accusations made by Cogswell and Mayor Tecklenburg's claim his opponent is being supported by Moms for Liberty were also up for debate. I think Mr. Cogswell was back. just trying to flip the conversation because it was really him that started using dark money funding in his campaign months ago. But I want to say to you, uh, and the people of Charleston, that Moms for Liberty is not supporting me or endorsing me or helping me in any way, shape, or form, and I have no connection to Moms for Liberty. The 60-minute debate packed with conversations on issues mattering the most to voters ended with a handshake. Yeah, it does, it does, it does. Now tomorrow is the last day of early voting. Polls open at 8.30 and close at 5 p.m. And the runoff election again is on Tuesday, November 21st. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jordan Siopa, count on two.